Two families are suing the state for discrimination against deaf Georgians. They filed a class action suit in federal court. The families claim the state discriminates against the deaf in its funding of public mental health services. Renita Benton is learning how to be independent, and she's doing it with staff who speak her language. But now the group home her mother started is at risk of losing its a battle with the state over funding. I can't believe that here it is, 2010, and we're still having to fight this issue that the state's known been existing, you know, for six or more years. Right now, Georgia doesn't set aside funding for mental health needs for the deaf. That means the 1,400 deaf individuals who need these services have to get them in places that are not equipped, places that don't have special phones, doorbells, or most importantly, people who can communicate with them. These are real people who need these services who simply cannot get them and um, are isolated and that's not just. Attorneys for Belton say they have a solid case because it's one that's been fought before and won in states like Florida and Alabama. To us a very simple issue. Should deaf Georgians have access to the same mental health care that the rest of us do? Um, federal law says yes. Renita is just hoping she can keep her lifestyle the way it is. When I'm talking with hearing people, it's really difficult because we have to write back and forth. Sure. So I prefer signing sure. with a deaf staff. And living with other deaf people, people who are like her, striving to be independent. Attorneys say they don't know how long it'll take before the case is resolved.